big welcome to my newest subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to click below, subscribe and click the bell so you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get on with the video. of Avignon, which actually is not so little. This is the outer wall of the old city of Avignon. intentionally in the old city of Avignon here in uh, Provence area of France. Unfortunately it's a rainy day and we don't have any parapluie which is French for umbrella but we do have rain waterproof jackets. So we had to park at the very edge of town. Look at this lovely house that we've just discovered as we walk into the town looking for the, our restaurant. Isn't that lovely? Continuing down our little walking tour someplace in the walled city of Avignon. So we have already been yelled at once because Jeff turned down a one-way street not realizing it was a one-way street but we did find a parking place there. Although he had to turn around and the man yelled at him for turning around. This in French, so Jeff really didn't know he was being yelled at, so it didn't really matter. But then the man yelled at me and I understood what he was yelling. Should, probably would have been better if I said I don't speak French. Right here is a convent. Looks like a very old convent. that Jeff is standing in front of.
river that ran underneath it remain. See, and this is the river running under the city. A little further up the stream is a large paddle wheel. And this paddle wheel would have provided power through a large gear over on the wall and it would have given the mechanical power from the stream to go into the building and use it for machinery. Of course, it's been abandoned for many years, but in the old city, that was the way they used the power of the water. Still looking at the same building. restaurant that is still open. Unfortunately, we got to town just as the restaurants were getting ready to close. They close at 2 o'clock here in Avignon. I forgot where we were. So, where did we go for lunch? Well, we ended up going to the train station because one of us, moi, had to go to the bathroom. And we couldn't find a public bathroom. You can't just walk into a closed restaurant and use the bathroom. And the public restroom was out of service, probably due to COVID. So we found a wonderful restaurant to eat in here in the train station in Avignon. And here is what we're having for lunch. Let's look. Well, I'm having a delightful tuna sandwich. Jeff appears to be having turkey. Jabon fromage. Uh, that looks like turkey and ham, uh, it's cheese. Jabon. No, if you flip open the bread, it's... Jabon. Oh, oh it is ham. Oui. It's ham and cheese with mayonnaise. Jabon. Oh, dirty and the bottom of the one. Okay, and I will be drinking a juice de fraise, which is strawberry juice. I don't know if it's just the juice or it's a drink. It says it's without additive, so maybe it's healthy. I'm sure we'll be enjoying an Evian. Pardon the noise. the town that we are staying in. Good. to the town of Gold, you are greeted by this lovely work of art. See the hand on the end of one of the branches? Ball. Oh. 
le coconessier. And we're never far from grapevines. There's some grapevines down there. Down there. All around. In the car we got to this point in the road where we noticed that there was no more further place to go. So we turned the wheel and Anne said, we won't fit, we won't fit. I said, oh, but we must fit. We won't fit, we won't fit. Oh, but we must fit. Oh. And we went through the old gate of the city. We made it by a hair on each side. Yes. This is, we fit through a hole this big for the car. We went through the old city gate, and you'll see large iron pins in the wall where a gate used to swivel to open and close. At night, they would close the gates of the city and say, no more people. Okay. This is us trying to squeeze down this road in the car. And our car is telling us, don't go down this road, it's not big enough. <laughs> Brakes don't fail us now. Oh my God, oh, 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 oh. It's gonna get skinnier. Oh my gosh. Look at this, oh. Oh geez. Oh, 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 look at this, look at this. Alarms, alarms. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll make it, it looks like it's getting wider. <sighs> Almost off the street. Now what do you have to do, turn around to get out? Oh, now you have to go left. Very tricky. You follow the white stripe in the road, it eventually takes you down to the village no parking lot. Right what? In the old days, trouble lights were much smaller. That is baloney. It's always fun to see these little de chevaux. I don't think they make them anymore. I think they're so cute. You really only see them in France. As we come up through the center of town of Gould, where we are staying this evening and for the next couple of days, we have this very large olive tree and it's sort of a landmark. People say at the olive tree, at the olive tree turn left or olive tree turn right to get to wherever they are, or they're living, or they're staying. Lots of olives. Look. It's 
is full of olives. I think there is more to eating olives from the tree. I think you have to do something more to them to process them. I've never done any research, but this tree is swimming in olives. I wonder who gets to keep them. Look at the walls of these buildings. It's as though the homes were just built right into the, the rock. Crusaders came through town, went down that walkway and all that. The Crusaders? Yes. <laughs> you we, think? We. <laughs> Everything is very old here. It adds to the charm. For a quiet little village, it's certainly a very nice place to visit. This was our fully equipped kitchen. That's a very old chandelier up there. Here we are having our little itty bitty cups of coffee in the European's manner. Uh, that's a staircase leading Everything. up to our bedroom. It's a teeny cup of coffee with a teeny staircase to a teeny bathroom to a teeny everything. Having coffee and fresh squeezed orange juice and some delicious grapes. And bananas. Local bananas from... So yes. these steps lead up. To the room with the toilet. And here is the toilet. Look at this cute little sink right here in the toilet room. And you turn the sink on using this little knob in the wall, which is actually about, I don't know, it's very small. A little over an inch, which seems strange in the wall, but it is interesting. And that's the curtain in front of me. It's an interesting little touch. Photograph and a very old mirror is above. Okay, so we go down stairs. Right now it has all of our dirty laundry because we're getting ready to leave. Or not laundry, but our dirty towels and sheets because we're getting ready to leave. But this is the downstairs area where you see we have a hair dryer and a little sitting table. And there were two nice robes here. And this is a little bathroom, literally, to take a shower. So definitely a very nice place. 
and even a washing machine, which was great because we were able to catch up on all of our laundry from the places we stayed before. These are the stairs, the spiral staircase that we came up. Now we have the bed. A nice lamp. Have some more clothes hanging. And then we have a little sink here in the bedroom. Frankly, it would be nice if there was a toilet closer to the bedroom. You have to go down the spiral staircase to go to the bathroom, which isn't great in the middle of the night, but it is what it is. All in all, I think it's a lovely bedroom and let me tell you that air conditioner oh my gosh it was so cold most of the night however if you bundled up in a blanket and there are plenty of blankets here it was so nice to breathe I don't know for some reason even with the air conditioner on at home at the temperature we keep it sometimes I wake up all stuffed up but here, no problem. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Demonstrating how to use the tub, except that he has his robe on. So, if you would like me to remove my robe, mademoiselle, I can do this. Uh, I think not. <laughs> so let's look at the outside of the place we're staying at in a town called Gult. This is our backyard, basically. Look how lovely it is. It's the beginning of another day. Look at these. Everywhere you look is something to look at out here. There's more. Isn't this wonderful? It's like a secret paradise. Let me take you up here. Here, and this is an extended part of our backyard. This is more of a common area for all other people who are staying here. I don't think there are any others, maybe another couple somewhere. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the ceiling. Those are little bells. sitting area. Can you hear the water? Absolutely lovely back here. These are the towels. For this lovely pool. And it goes all the way, way down to the end there. 
and where you see that arch at the end, that's pretty much where it ends. It goes maybe another four feet beyond that. And the water is pretty much warm. I mean, by my standards, it could be just a little bit warmer, but Jeff calls it bathtub water. The man who created this, oh, such an imagination. Look, even glass above. And he lives in a house that's above this. And every now and then we see dogs up there in the glass and they will come down to the pool. They seem to like drinking out of the pool. It doesn't smell like chlorine either, which Jeff believes is a good sign that he's got it well chlorinated. And if you chlorinate it so well that you don't smell chlorine, that's a great thing. But the pool is very clean and the water very fresh and just walking out here this morning, it's so wonderful. Look at all that bamboo. I'd love to find bamboo for our yard. However, I've heard it can become a nightmare if it starts to spread. And since we're only going to live in our house for probably another three years at most, I probably don't want to do that to the owners of our own home and have them worry, have to worry about a bamboo problem. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful out here. There's our table. We were going to breakfast there this morning, but <laughs> Jeff wasn't sure it was gonna be warm enough. And here we are, back in our little dining area, where Jeff is checking out the news for this morning. These Bonjour, grapes. mademoiselle. Beautiful fresh Comment ça va? Comme ça, comme ça. Très bien, yeah? Mini coffee. He's practicing being a Frenchman. Oui. He has two and a half years to get there. Très bien. So today we're in the town of Lille sur la Sorgue, which means the island on the Sorgue. And it's uh, known to many as the Venice of France. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and check back soon for our next video. Bye for now.